What's going on all you gamers, here we are back with some more Outriders and today I'm going to be going over three things I really feel they need to implement in their game to keep the game alive. So if you want to know what my thoughts are, then stay tuned, that's coming up next. Welcome back all you guys and girls, as always for all things gaming, for all things Xbox, all the latest and greatest in content, hints, tips, guides, builds and just some fun gameplay on the latest games coming out, then why not hit that subscribe and bell icon. But for today I'm here to tell you the three main things that I think they need to address in order to keep Outriders alive. There's been an abundance of issues with the game, there's been a lot that they can implement and there's a lot that they are trying to implement and fix at the moment. So one good thing is that they haven't abandoned the game, people can fly are making a lot of adjustments and for a game that's not a live service game, this is the closest to it I've seen, especially with how many patches and how much they're actually keeping on top with even a weekly kind of developers update. Now like I said there are a lot of things they need to put in the game, for example loadouts, locking your gear items as well as rebalancing certain things such as gear sets which at the moment there's one or two that really stand out above all others. But for me there's three key things that they need to do to actually fix their game and to make it so that it lasts because if they don't do these I don't know how much of a future it will actually have. Now first off they need to sort out the legendary drop rates. Now I know there is obviously the big buff that's happened and they're trying to address the reroll function at the moment but for me when you complete a CT15 and you're still never ever getting the kind of drops you need especially if you're into one or two they need to look at it overall. They either need to buff it somewhat more or I think the main thing they need to do is make sure everything drops equally. If you're like myself you will almost definitely know that some of the pieces of gear in this for example the helmets of such of the gear sets they definitely have a much lower chance of dropping as well as some of the harder to get hold of legendary weapons. Wait a minute, who are you? Now I really think they should just make everything go to the exact same drop chance. That would make things a lot more fun, a lot more playable and it would make it a lot less grindy. I've been trying to get something for over three months on one character which is just absolutely ridiculous. If they adjusted it so everything had the same drop rate it would make things much better. Either that or they've got to look at the overall loot system in general just to make it so there's one way to get some of the focused items. For example changing Tiago's loot cycle. There's got to be a way in game so that you can actually achieve the builds you want and get those pieces of gear that at the moment can take you months and months to get through luck or RNG. Now next up and definitely 100% for anyone who's played this game as much as myself, they need new content. They need some end game that is actual end game because for myself I have the storm is fun but it's not end game. It's, it's a fun activity to do once or twice. It doesn't give you any better loot. It doesn't give you anything different. It's just something you want to complete to kind of tick it off of your checklist that you've completed everything. They need to implement some kind of end game activity that people are going to have a lot of fun playing. I for one still think horde mode or a wave mode of sorts would definitely be the way forward because even if they implement a few more of the actual exhibitions I don't think they'll last that much longer. Honestly once you've done them a few times over the novelty wears off and it will again be very very similar to what we've already got in game. They need to bring some DLC out, they need to mix it up a bit and they need to make it fun as an overall experience for everyone. Now last but by no means least my number one pick for something they've got to actually fix in game would definitely be the connection issue. At the moment it's peer to peer rather than dedicated. In my opinion they've kind of made a bit of a boo boo about this. The connections are absolutely awful. You may be lucky and get a good one every once in a while. For myself it is pretty much always at moderate. It may even go on to red. It's very very hit and miss and if you're not hosting you can actually just find yourself losing out on so much damage, you can find yourself gliding around the floor whilst doing moves, you just can't actually do what you're supposed to do. Sometimes you'll even die because you're not facing where you're supposed to or not hitting what you're aiming for. Also some of your bullets can kind of go astray or not count as hitting which can be an absolute nightmare in those builds, say for example the Technomancer's Blighted Ram builds which focuses completely around that. If they do not manage to fix the connection issues, if they can't make matchmaking better than it is at the moment, I can't see how a game that is actually supposed to be about playing multiplayer will survive that much into the future. 
Even there, a lot of people play single player, even if they don't want to, just for the sheer fact that it's easier. You're going to complete things to a gold standard much faster because of the actual health pool, it's going to be easier to clear the content, it's going to be faster, and of course you're not going to have the issues you have when you're playing in multiplayer. I think that if they can't fix some of the matchmaking issues and the stability of that, or further down the line, if the game does make a comeback, if they could invest in designated servers, which I, I don't even know if that's possible at this point, but so I honestly think they have to 100% fix some of the connection issues, because if it is as it stands at the moment, they're going to lose whatever player base they have left, just for the sheer fact that in a multiplayer game, if you can't play with your friends and you can't play multiplayer, there's only so long that it's actually going to last. Don't get me wrong, this game is great in single player as well, but if you did want to play it multiplayer, sometimes you're playing single player just for the sheer fact that you're not able to have that option. Right, all you gamers, as always, if you've got a comment or you've got a difference of opinion, you've got one that you'd like to mention, chuck it in the comments, I'd love to hear from you. But as always, for all things gaming, for all things Xbox, take care, I'll see you on the next day.